Is your character at the place you thought he would have arrived at at this point in the season? You know, when you first started, have you reached that point you expected to? I had no idea. Uh, I've been friends with and working with Dallas for 23 years now, over 23. But he never tells me anything. So when we started, I just thought I was a Roman centurion and I didn't have any idea where it was going and or why. So, yeah, I'm I think I'm more surprised than anybody who's watching this series. I might be the most surprised. For you as actors, you know, the writers are constantly tweaking things and working out where to take the story. Coming into season four, where has Gaius found himself? Because his character's always had a bit of a wrestle, in my opinion, about what his perspective on Jesus, on the disciples is. This will be an oversimplification, but it's almost like I've got the devil on one side and the angel or God on the other, and they're both talking. Ever since Sermon on the Mount, and of course, even prior to that, when Jesus says, follow me, and Matthew just gets at this very quirky, interesting young man, just gets up and leaves and gives me, like, this guy would lock his door five times, and he hands me the key to his place, and he goes off with this guy. So from that moment forward, I have to wonder what the heck, like, why would he? So I've been curious for a while, but the Sermon on the Mount certainly changed everything and really started to make me think about who I am uh, as a Roman and what my ideals are and what my beliefs are. And in that conversation, one last thing, you know, like with Simon Peter in, in season three at the cistern, those scenes are so great because I'm curious. I'm trying to figure out. What do you mean you have one God? I've got a pantheon of gods, for example. So I am really stuck. Mm. A lot of inner conflict trying to figure out what to do and where to go. The Sermon on the Mount, that is a real moment of distinction for Gaius. What is it about that sermon that you think makes him so curious and stirs him like that? What makes the show, I think, I would like to think successful is Jesus's message. It, get, it can get watered down so much, honestly, with religion, with man, you know, with rhetoric and dogma. But his message is simple, and that's what resonated, I think, with Gaius, is like, uh, treat others as you would yourself, or, or put others before you. Be kind. You know, you don't have to retaliate. You know, all the things that he said are just so profoundly life-changing when you really stop and think about it goodness you know being a kind person imagine if we all walked around putting others needs before our own i try to do that in my own life and don't always succeed but, but wow what a what a what a great ideology and i think that's what's hitting gaius we have rome and we have that ideology and the sacraments that i took with rome when i became a centurion and the pantheon of gods it's confusing and it's a lot but there's no mm -hmm. real thinking it's about a republic there's no not as much soul thinking as i think it, jesus is talking about inner mm. things so i think that's what's hitting him the most when you're working on a show that does have such strong moments of you know character exemplified jesus at the center being this he's perfect you know like the character of jesus represents this kind of i don't want to say moral perfection but he just is his kindness his love and all of these things personified when you say you know that in your own life you want to exemplify some of these characteristics and you're working on a show that has so much of it does that make it more of a challenge because literally every day you're confronted with oh i should be a bit more like that yeah are you saying is that a challenge yeah, because I feel like, I mean, many of us would have a, a desire in our everyday to be sort of these quote unquote good people. But when you're literally working on a show that has that at the center of it, does that put a little bit more pressure on you, I suppose? No, I think what it does is it, it, it reinforces it, you know? I think we all know that what it means to be good and fair and honorable and kind and live with integrity we all know that. I think we all learned those values growing up. It's just a question if we do it or not. So seeing it being done on a show, watching this character of Jesus, saying what he does, it reinforces what I need to be doing in my own life. So it has a really great, it has had a really strong impact on me personally for that very reason. Like you can't help but read this stuff and go, oh, wow, okay. 
it has an effect for sure. Is it fun being one of the villains though that sort of stirs the pot a little bit? I don't think, you know, everybody has a justified reason. This is what I always say. Everybody has a justified reason for why they do what they do. Nobody thinks they're a bad person and nobody. Everybody finds a reason as to why they're going to do this, this and this from infidelity to murder to cheating on your taxes. Everybody's going to find a reason. Does that make them a bad person? No, it doesn't. It's just choices, right? And then here's the other thing to think about. If you want to have a great hero, you need a great villain because the stronger your villain, the stronger the opposition, the greater your hero looks when the hero conquers that. This, these people, the villains, need to be liked. They need to be charming. They need to have a point of view. You got to feel something for them. If you don't, this victory is not as sweet. If this is mm. weak, this is weak. You got to raise the whole thing up. So, I mean, Rome did some amazing things, uh, you know, infrastructure, water, medicine, calendar. You know, Rome did a lot and they allowed the people to be themselves. But you know what? Give us money, give us gold and we'll build roads so you can take your wares and go to the next town and then come back in the same day. Mm. And they did a lot. Infrastructure, clean water, you know, huge from cholera to dysentery. And so Rome did a lot of good things for sure. So I guess I don't quite see them as villains. <laughs> I guess The Chosen as a series allows us to see that, you know, that perspective as it brings to life these characters, these stories that can just be limited to the page sometimes. In the way that you've spoken about The Chosen publicly on your social media, you tend to always call it a real honour. Like it's an honour to be doing what you're doing. It's an honour to share what you do with the fans. Why do you see it as such an honour to be part of this series? I, I think to be put in a position that I've been blessed enough to be in, I just consider it an, an, an honour to embody something that's just so important to the world. Why me? I, well, who am I, you know? So to somehow be in this position, I take with such gratitude and, and I don't think I'm answering this question very good. I, that's a really great question. I just, I'm humbled by it. I'm honored to be a part of it. Uh, like, you know, I've been making a living now as an actor for over 35 years. No one ever really, I get recognized now more than ever, but no one, you know, whatever. I just made a living, character actor, right? Dad one day, psychopath the nest, whatever characters I was playing. But to be recognized for something that is having such a positive impact on the world, this is what I'm coming to learn, that's an honor. That just blows my little brain that I am blessed enough to be in that position. <clears throat> wow. I still don't think I'm answering that question very well, but I just think all of that is an honor because not every, how about this? Not everybody gets to do that. How often in life are you allowed to be a part of something that's maybe really having change? What an, that's just such a blessing, such an honor to be in that position and to, and to be granted that gift, that blessing. I, I just, yeah. That was a very bad answer. I'm sorry. <laughs> but No, but it's a good answer because it shows just how important you see your role and how important this show is. But also the impact has been remarkable, you know, and, and come the new year here in Australia you know, and, and many other countries around the world, we're going to get to see The Chosen on the big screen, ampl amplifying, I think, something that people have been experiencing at, in their homes, maybe with some friends, maybe as part of church groups, but to suddenly see it there in the cinema on a grand scale like that, what kind of impact do you think that's going to have for the many of us that do get to experience it that way? There's something about seeing a film in a theater with a whole bunch of other people that somehow has a stronger impact than you know, the, the app, watching it like this or, or at home and there's a couple of people because it's a more of a collective experience. And it's also big. I mean, like my nose is like the size of a car. <laughs> you know what I mean, like it's really humbling and like, oh, that's not a good look, Kirk, but whatever. I'm not <laughs> thrilled about looking at myself. But when you see yourself on the big screen, it's, it's larger than life. So I think that has an impact on the story as well when something is literally larger than life. So I think that's part of the benefit. 
and you know you're in a dark theater you're with other people you can't run you can't turn it off and, and go get a sandwich or something you're like you got you there and i think that has greater impact i think all for all those reasons i think that's what's going to make the movie experience that much richer and then like a keys our cinematographer like he's a genius i mean it's just the the his pictures are stunning so to see that is also i think going to have impact uh, on all of us i cannot wait kirk it's been a privilege to chat with you is there anything else you wanted to add if i missed anything you'd like to say before we wrap it up no ma'am i just think uh, i'll say this wonderful questions thank you very much those were all very very insightful and intelligent questions so thank you